Toronto's nightlife has a lot to offer. There's a bunch of different bars, restaurants, and even beautiful sights to see. But when it comes to a first date, a lot of people want to make a very good first impression. So, where do Torontonians like to take their first date? I'm Kara, and this is my question. Where do you want to go on a first date? Where's the best place to go on a first date? On a beach. <laughs> on the nice beach. beach. On a nice beach. <laughs> Just somewhere that you can get to know a person. Like maybe a quiet restaurant. Like, not too quiet, because then it's kind of awkward, but like, just a quiet space that you can talk and get to know each other. And where was the best place that you ever went on a first date? I went to um, the Golden Grotto with him and we got pancakes. It was my favorite date by far. Somewhere no one knows about. Like what kind of place that no one knows about. Like, just picturesque. Somewhere that you can remember in your head. And like, it was something that kind of took your breath away. I don't know, something subtle like the movies, because it doesn't have to be too much interaction, but you guys can still get to know each other. So I think that'd be perfect. I mean, and what kind of movie would you see? Oh, definitely something romantic comedy. Kind of ease it up without putting too much tension on the topic. But yeah, for sure. I'm going to say BQM. It uh, stands for Burger Quality Meats or something like that. I don't know. Best yeah. Quality Meats. It's a uh, place. Dundas and Ossington. And why, why that place? Um, it's, it's an independent spot, I think, maybe. And uh, the ladies like it. I've taken three women there, been successful every time. I mean, the results speak for themselves. Harper, what do you think? Uh, I've also taken three women there. It hasn't worked out, but... Uh, <laughs> great burger. Great burger. Great burger. For food? I'd probably go to Utopia in Little Italy for drinks, uh, the Orbit Room, they got great live music. And what is it about those places that make it good for first date? It's just a nice atmosphere, it's comfortable, um, good food and good music. So, yeah. Have you ever taken first dates there before? Uh, yeah, actually I have. Several? No, <laughs> like one or two. <laughs> I like Allen Gardens. Do you know Allen Gardens? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Or the art gallery, it's pretty fun too. Nathan Phillips Square. Why? You go ice skating in the winter, boom. Romantic everything, yeah. In the summertime, it's also nice because it's just a cute way to hang out and you can get cute food together, so. What kind of food around there do you get? Oh, it's just like burgers, fries. Casual, keep it casual, you know. Yeah, you can, you can maybe drink a little. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not gonna say anything otherwise, so. Chez Noir, the place where you eat in the dark and served by blind people. That place is great. I don't know all this stuff. And you can like make out and no one can see you and it's not awkward. Uh, Jack Astor's right there. Jack Astor's. And why? And what else? And why is it the best place, Jack Astor's? Well, you can have a couple of drinks, uh, chill, and, uh, and you know, have fun. Montana, so that's my place to go. M Montana's the restaurant? Yeah, it's a restaurant. Where, where is this restaurant? There are every, everywhere in Brampton, Mississauga, because I'm from Brampton. So if I come here in Toronto, I mostly go Jack Astor's because uh, they have a rooftop in summer. So I love that rooftop restaurant. In Toronto, where is the best place to take a first date? I'll stick to the Jack Astor right there. That will be the first one for me to take it. But I'm married, so I'm not going to say anything. Where did you take your wife on the first date? I took her to actually an Indian place in Brampton. It's more like buffet place, but it's really a good one. I booked a specific room for her and I took it there and I made arrangement according to that. Uh, I like Toronto downtown core here of course. First date, I like this Dundas Square. I do stay here uh, all the time. Um, any of the patio sh outside patios is what I like. Can you think of a good outside or a good restaurant with a good outside patio? I like the Jack Astors over here for one thing. Uh, it's nice to watch the people, uh, you know, from the upstairs patio. So that's, that's my one spot I choose. If you're new to Toronto or just visiting, or maybe you've lived here all your life, there are so many different locations to explore. If you'd like some other date ideas, you can check out this video here. I'm Kara Anderson for EXO Video. Come again.